Hello, my name is Mrs. Collins. I am an educator in California, and today I am going to show you how to save some time in creating an interactive notebook. You can choose a layout that is already available and free through Slides Carnival. And so today in the video, you will learn how to find a cover to your liking, add tabs, link tabs, and insert videos. So starting out, first and foremost, you would go to the search engine and you will type in Slides Carnival, the word and, and notebook. And then you will notice the very first site that comes up, it says slidescarnival.com and it says composition book. So you will click that and it will take you here and you will notice you will see an actual copy of a composition book template that can be used with PowerPoint or it can be used with Google Slides. Once you take a look and you can preview the inside by clicking on the arrows and you will notice that there is already notebook paper that's in there so you don't have to go through the trouble of finding a notebook paper, etc. unless you just choose to do that to create everything from scratch. But why not adopt and adapt? So pretty much once you decide which one you're going to use PowerPoint or Google Slide, you would click on it so it downloads. I use Google Slides. So you will notice that once you click on it, you'll get a button that says use template and then you will click on it and you will actually hit use template and then it will open a template. And I'm gonna go back just so that you can see because this particular slide is formatted for the widescreen 16 by nine. And I like to have eight and a half by 11. So what you would want to do is first and foremost, go over to file and you are going to change the page setup. So you're gonna do page setup. And if you want to keep it as a widescreen, you can do so. Okay, but if not, you would choose custom and then you can go ahead and you will select eight and a half by 11. And then you will hit apply. And so you'll notice because this template was originally 16 by nine, it's not enough to cover the full page. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the master view and that's where you make changes and those changes will be permanent and also it prevents students from being able to change certain things okay so we're just going to highlight that and hit the delete key we're going to do the same thing here highlight it hit the delete key so what you will then do is you would open up a browser so that you can search and type in whatever color you wish for red composition notebook cover. Once you find it, you will right click and then you will save it as a JPEG or I'm using a Mac. So I basically hold both of my fingers on the mouse and then it does a screenshot and it goes to my desktop. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit insert image and I'm going to tell it to go from the computer and then I'm going to go ahead and click and so you will notice you will need to resize it once you put pick whichever cover you want okay bring that down so you're gonna sort of play with resizing it a little bit and then that's perfect okay so now you know how to get a cover that you wish to get. And then from there, what you're gonna do is you're going to insert tabs. So I'm gonna show you how to insert a tab. First, you could go here and just click on shapes and then you're gonna find one that sort of has like a round edge to it. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm just gonna come over here, okay? So you will notice now we have a tab and I want to change the color. So I am going to go ahead and do that. And so what you can do is go ahead and do copy. So on the Mac is Command C. 
and it's control C for PC and then control V or command V to paste. So that way you will be able to go ahead and put your various tabs on. And again, you can go here to this little paint and you can change the various colors that you're going to have for your tabs. And once you have the colors that you're going to use for your tabs, also what you want to do is you want to, and I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna delete this for now. And I'm gonna delete this one and you'll see why. So again, basically you're going to go ahead and you're gonna do a text box, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw out that text box so that you can type out the word or whatever, it could be page one, page two, unit one, unit two. It just depends on how you organize your interactive notebook. I would recommend that you do it by units because the files can get really big and pretty much, but it's up to you. So then once you do that, we're gonna go ahead and go here to change the text color. I'm gonna change that to white and I am going to center the title of the tab and I'm going to increase the font size, okay? So you will notice that pretty much you do copy, we could go ahead and go back here and then what we could do is copy and paste And for the titles, you can go ahead and paste those as well, okay? So that way you can save the time on having to constantly turn it and all you have to do is change the actual titles. The next thing that I want to show you is that if you want these tabs to go to the back of the notebook, then what you will do is you would do, you would click here. Let's see if we can drag it. Well, it's doing something I don't want it to do, so I'm gonna just do it individually in this case. So we'll do a range and send back. Okay, so in this case, it just sent the wording back, okay? So if that happens, you'll just need to bring out the wording so that and you see that it's different instead of it sitting right on top of the notebook, it's authentically behind it. So let's see if we can do that again and hit arrange and send back. And again, we're gonna need to bring that up. Okay, we're gonna do that again, arrange, order, send back. And then we're having to still send the tab back because what happened is it sent just the word back. Okay, and what we're gonna do is bring that out as well okay so now those tabs are to the back and then let's just say that you want to go ahead and you want to link this specific page what you're going to do is you're going to do insert and you're going to do link or you could do this shortcut and use Control k and so it tells you slides in the presentation so what you could do is basically after your table of contents or whatever page you want to link that specific tab to, you would just select the slide, you would hit apply, and then it will automatically go to that slide. So once you have your notebook set up, you would just go ahead and align which slide starts that particular section. 
and you would go ahead and do it that way. So again, I showed you how to find a cover or how to design that even with using a template that has already been created. We added tabs. I showed you how to add them, put titles on them, and also how to make it look more authentic by placing the tabs as if they're inside the book and separating different sections. And then the last thing I want to show you, and I showed you how you can link this tab to a specific place within the slide, or if you wanted it to actually take the students out of the slide to go to a specific area, um, let's just say within your Google Classroom or your website, etc. So now outside of that, what you would be able to do is also you can insert videos. And so let's just say that I wanted to put a video here. So we would do insert, we would do video, and let's just say I wanted to do something dealing with thing, okay? And then once I have the video, I will go ahead and select it. And because I'm doing it in the master, students will not be able to manipulate this. And so that means that it will be in here for them to click on and they won't be able to delete it by mistake or just to delete it at all, okay? And so you will notice that the video is actually here. And if you wanted to also include, well, I'm gonna just do this. So let's see here. Let's say if I wanted to do a text box, I wanted to type because I don't want the students to be able to move this either. And write one theme statement to express the main message. I should say one of the main messages to express one of the main messages in one of your favorite movies. So then what they will be able to do, and let's just say I need to make this bigger. So they will not be able to move this or this because it is indeed in the master template. So if you just go back to the regular template, you'll find that what you could do is just type theme here and your students would be able to remove this. But if it doesn't bother you, if they were to remove it by mistake, but again, you'll see that they can't move this and they can't move the actual video. OK, so and then what we would be able to do, I see this particular box is still there so we can get rid of that text box that was there. So. I showed you how to insert a video, link tabs, add tabs, put the tabs to the back, and to find a cover. This is one way that you're able to create an interactive notebook without having to create an interactive notebook totally from scratch. And it already has the pages in it. And you will see over here that you have the ability to insert various pages, etc. So if you found this to be helpful, please like the video, please share it with your colleagues, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on more how-to videos to help you along the way. Have an awesome school year and an awesome day.